Hey guys, Kadima with another Lords of the Fallen video. This time, just a bit of a compilation of some funny uh, PvP moments for you guys, in case you're curious about how the PvP scene is working these days. So this poor fellow was about to cross that little plank over there, and he fell down to the poison pool while I was casting thunderstorms on the poor man. <laughs> Well, he didn't stand much of a chance after that. It's quite um, hard to get out of there as it is, especially when you have some guy like me just casting thunder on top of you. Sorry, man. But anyway, let's move on to the next one. In this one, I am about to kill this guy without even attacking him. So I do buff my sword. I do my consumables because for whatever reason when you invade a chunk of your health is missing and as soon as you cast the first spell about 80% of your mana pool is drained for whatever reason as well. So I cast that little spell that um, casts a ball of radiance above your head which follows you and attacks enemies. So I see the enemy and I think to myself, I'm not even going to attack you. One shot, two shots, <laughs> and three shots and he's dead. <laughs> GG, my friend. <laughs> On to the next one. So, I invade this gang of um, guys playing through um, the Abbey area. And as soon as I walk in... I just cast my favorite thing, which is the Radiant Blessing, and boom! <laughs> While he's trying to dodge, I'm just spamming the Thunderstorms, and boom, he's also dead. <laughs> GG, guys. Um, I'm sorry, you didn't stand much of a chance. Anyways, on to the next one. Um, I invaded this guy, and I thought, okay, he's not in Umbro which is good, um, means he's got two lives. Let's see what he's rocking. Um, and as I thought, I said, oh, that's an enemy there. It's quite strange, normally the enemies aren't there. So I just came in here to check if he was around. Um, and I just turned back because I had a feeling he was stuck there behind the wall. And he was. <laughs> so I just went with the Radiant Blessings, which one shot him as usual. No surprises. I waited for him to return from Umbro. And then I decided to just troll the guy a little bit. Just dodging. He does manage to hit me once or twice, I think. But, you know, when you got that massive sword... Yeah, I mean... That's great and all that. But, you know... Yes, I was just wasting time dodging. Trying to make him go for something else. It did cast a couple of those on me and he actually hit me. So I decided to try the Radiance. I nearly killed myself. I don't know if you guys are aware, but if you hit yourself with the Radiant Blessing in PvP, you will actually kill yourself. So you gotta be careful with that. Anyway, I thought, okay, this has been fun, but I'm just gonna end it. I thought I would one-shot him with the swords, but um, the buff was out. So I just decided to go with the bloody storms, and yes, that's when you cast four storms in one go. I mean, there's nothing more you can do. On to the next one. So, again, invading in the Empyrean uh, area, I run into this guy. So I do my usual buff, I, ca I cast the Radiant Weapon, um, I regen my mana, and as soon as I approach him, you will notice that he starts casting the Thunderstorms on me. Take a look. So as soon as I get close, oh, okay, is that how it is? Okay, and he casted maybe two, three, um, looks like three storms at the same time. So I don't want to be stuck in the middle of that, that's for sure. So I just kept my distance, um, and I just actually, I wanted to wave at him, um, but he wouldn't go for it, so I just went with the Radiant Blessing, 
and he gets one shot 1142 damage which you know one shot he comes back in umbro i healed regen my mana while waiting for the stamina to regen a little bit as well now i casted the lightning the um, radiant guide just in case and then i thought okay i'm gonna cast the storms on you now and let's see how this ends and yes as expected there's no chance three or four thunderstorms at the same time it's just gg on to the next one so i invaded these guys um you can tell one is on playstation the other one is on a computer um so these guys are just at the end game um near the last boss so i casted the radiant guide and then i ca tried to cast the blessing but again it did what it did one shot the co-op guy and then i casted the um the storm on to the next one right this is one of the worst areas to invade to be honest because it's so tight uh, i couldn't even see the invisible wall there so i just thought okay i'll have to track back they are probably by the bridge area that you have to swap to umbro to be able to cross or hold your lantern up which i wouldn't recommend in this area and as soon as I saw them, I couldn't lock, as you can tell. I'm trying to lock, but it wasn't working. And he just casted those um, arrows on me, and he killed me. But, unfortunately for him, my storm killed him too. And I got the severed hands. So, I win. Now, invading again um, in the last area of the game... As soon as I, I, you can tell I was buffing and the guy actually tried to plunge attack me. Um, so I thought, okay, if that's how it is, um, that's fine by me, bro. So, again, you can see there's a lot of lag because I was getting hit despite the fact that I was not even in the pathway of his attacks. Which kind of caught me off guard, but my Radiant Blessings did the job. He got one-shotted as usual. Uh, once I was get once I was uh, 1v1 with the host, I tried to cast the blessings through the wall. Lucky he didn't get hit. Um, and then he actually jumped down to try to run away from me, which is fair play. I mean, I wouldn't want to fight me either if I was someone else. And then, there you go. Boom. One shot, as usual, with the radiant blessings. Because, you know, it is what it is. So, now it was time for the storms. And, you know, he did cast the Radiant Blessings, but he probably wasn't locked onto me, so they pointed God knows where. And that was it. GG. <laughs> Funny how his Radiant Blessings were cast towards whatever. Now, this is actually quite a funny one, because I invaded this guy in the Abbey area. I actually need to come and see Stormens because I I'm trying to play around with the build to try to come up with a um, a bit more damage output. Um, so I'm doing some testing if you care to know. But I moved on. And then I saw him there casting his little pyro inferno spells, and I thought, okay, you want to go pyro on me? That's fine. Goodbye. <laughs> Radiant blessings for the one shot as usual. In the meantime, I had already cast a lot of thunderstorms on him, as you can see. And I'm not sure if he realized what was going on. But why would you try to cast an inferno spell while you have three or four thunderstorms on you? Anyway, on to the next guy. So I invaded this pair um, of players. And this guy, he didn't even attack me. He just decided to look at me. And I was trying to say, oh, okay, let's duel. But then he casted probably one of the worst spells in the game. I, I don't know why would anyone use this. But I thought, okay, that's fine.
but as you can see there was quite a bit of lag because he just teleported i one shot the host just by using uh, r1 attack single r1 for the kill he, try, he decides to come for the kill. I mean, why would you rush like that? In the meantime, my Radiant Blessings had one-shot the co-op guy. Um, so I just decided, okay, let's just take the piss. So, thunderstorms it is. So I decided to cast the thunderstorm and he just melted, obviously. This thing is just so powerful. Especially when you cast two, three or four at the same time. It's insane. Now, on to the next guy. So, I invade this guy in um, Upper Ulrath area. Just where you fight the Light Reaper. He casted the Lightning Storm on me, as you can see. Uh, the secret with the Lightning Storm is to try to dodge initially, but then just run away from the area. As you can see, I did manage to one-shot him with a Radiant Blessing while I was dodging the storms and then i thought okay i shall return the favor and i casted the storms on him and then finish the job with a radiant blessing and there you go there's no escape you can't ex escape everything in, in, in at one in one go man gg now i invaded this guy which actually happened to be the first time a player made it quite clear that they wanted an honorable duel as you can see, he's right there, and he's just gesturing, and he decided to bow. If you bow, that tells me that you are in for a duel. And in that case, I will follow you, and we will play swords, which is fine. I just removed this obstacle from the area, so we get um, a nice, lovely uh, arena. He's using quite um, slow weapons. They do uh, physical damage only. Which is great because I've actually got quite a lot of physical damage going on. He does manage to get me off guard with that. He misses, so I go in for the R1s. And I manage to bring him down. He goes into Umbro. I actually was a bit careless there. Nearly got caught. Um, he goes back to trying to use the hammer. But then he did cast that spell... Uh, and as you can see so far I didn't cast any spells so I thought okay if you want to play spells <laughs> it's fine by me my friend so the radiant blessings get him to go away that gives me enough time to go for the thunderstorms and you know what happened with the thunderstorms but fair play to you you were the first uh, host that clearly signal you wanted a duel so fair play now on to these guys I invaded again um, in this um, area by the end game in Bramis Castle. I did notice that they were in quite a bit of trouble, so I casted the Radiant Blessings and I one shot both of them. Boom! One shot, two kills. <laughs> GG, buddy. He comes back from Umbro, and I thought, okay, I'll just finish the job with a thunderstorm and. That's what happened. No chance. GG. But that double kill was priceless. Now, this was me actually getting invaded, which is funny, because I was just speed running through the through the game to get the last trophies. Um, get into a bit of trouble with this giant. Um, lucky enough, he decided to taunt me instead of finishing the job. So I just finished the guy with some... Um, radiant spells and i thought okay instead of going forward because it's just a waste of time i'm just going to go for the invader he was using massive swords to try to kill me i don't recommend this for pvp they are extremely slow and i mean unless you are fighting newbies there's no chance you're going to hit me with that because i mean they're so slow well I kept him at bay, I casted some storms, and then I casted the Radiant Blessings. And you know what the Radiant Blessings do, they just one-shot you. And that's the end of the, <laughs> that's the end of the invader. You were just unlucky, you invaded the wrong guy, my friend. Now, same thing here, I was speedrunning through the game, got invaded by this guy. Unfortunately for him, 
maybe he thought I had opened the door that leads to the shortcut, but I didn't. Um, I haven't done it at this point. Um, I went into Umbro so I could transverse this bridge without um, risking being hit and then falling to the abyss. Um, because I wasn't sure what the invader would be at this point, I just decided to progress forward as much as possible until I hit the fog. I know for a fact that the fog is there. Um, I just went to confirm. Yes, it is. So I buffed my weapon as usual, preparing to fight the invader. But then there was no sign of him. And that's when I noticed something strange. He was actually down here, to the left, in that little pit that requires you to open the door to be accessible. So, unless I open the door, he can't get out of there. And I thought, oh, really? So you fell in there? That's cool with me, brother. Let's make you dance. So I decided to make this guy dance just by casting the storm permanently. There's no escape. You can roll and you can dodge for as long as you like, but the storm will eventually get to you. So that was me just watching this guy dance for me. There was a point in time I actually debated adopting him as a pet and keep keep the guy here. So funny enough he didn't give up he kept trying to dodge but come on I have 250 something of those large mana um, regen stones so I'm just gonna stay here and cast all the spells I can on you my friend blessings storms good luck trying to get out of the pool of the of the pit you are in a cage and I am your master GG my friend unlucky you should not have gone in there not until you're certain anyway same thing here I was minding my own business I had I had just started the this playthrough because I wanted to again complete the the last trophies I get invaded in the near the sanctuary a vestige point um, at this point because I don't know where the invader is I don't like to take the risk of uh, accidentally locking into a different enemy while I'm fighting the invader. So I just got rid of all the enemies um, in the area. This guy was doing my head in. I even casted the wrong spell and then I messed up things a little bit. Um, and then I see the invader, which is fine. I casted a few storms to make him run away. And he did. Clever move. But as you can see, the storms do chase you for quite a long time. That guy was upsetting me. I finally got rid of it. So now that the road was clear, I thought, is this guy going to try to kill me or is just going to hide? Which, again, I don't blame you. If you are an invader and you run into me and you invade me, I would strongly recommend... Just go back to your world or jump off a cliff and kill yourself uh, in the game, of course, and just be gone because there is no way you are going to win. So he decided to try to hide behind the mobs, which again could be a wise strategy, but not this point. So I casted some spells to get rid of the enemies he tried to plunge attack me which was funny because he actually ends up being caught by the storm I waited for that enemy to come chase me just need to cast one single radiant flare and he's gone made sure he didn't fall onto the plank to plunge me again I buff my weapon regen my mana as usual I make another move up the stairs And there he is, still hiding where the enemies are. So I just went with the Radiant Blessing. And of course, I'm not going to miss every time. So, GG. Radiant Blessings means GG. Here, I am back to being the invader. Um, 
I ended up running into this guy and that's actually funny because look at what this guy was doing he most uh, he must he must have thought, okay, if I hide in that little prison cell, he will need to use the lantern to go inside. And once he comes inside, I'm going to trash him. But I thought, why would I go inside? There's no need to go inside. <laughs> I even tried to make it clear that I am going to kill you from here, my friend. But I guess he didn't understand my point. So... I went for the usual storms and again you are in a tight little area there's no room for nothing you are going to die to the storms now that the gate was open I decided to let him out but he was too late there was too many storms around him already there was no surviving this <laughs> GG my friend not a good strategy now on to the next one so I invaded this guy, um, which was at the start of the game, pretty much, just before Pieta's fight. Um, and I couldn't see him at first, funny enough. Uh, I didn't notice he was right there on the top. And as soon as I move in, he tried to plunge me. And I thought, nah, 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 good strategy, my friend, but you're not going to catch me like that. So I decided to troll him a little bit. Do a bit of gesturings. Of course he came all in, but... Dude. Is that it? Is that your damage? Is that really the amount of damage that you are going to do? Okay. This is not going to end well. But I think this is kind of the problem. Um, is that some people start the game. They are not familiar with what the game is. And they probably just had someone drop a lot of stuff. So they start the game at level 100 and whatever or 200. But they haven't played the game. So... When he casted this spell I realized, oh okay, maybe he did play the game. And he's going for New Game Plus or something. So okay, maybe he does know what he's doing. I just don't understand how his damage is so bad. So again, he went to cast the bloody swords. Honestly, that is a use, useless spell. It does very little to no damage, especially against me. I have so much holy defense. And then the Radiant Blessings finish the job. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't just yet. And I'll see you guys in the next one, which will be a build video. Cheerio!